All right. Today I want to take us into a world that has revolutionized not just my life, but the life of my family and so many of the teams that I've led. This world is a powerful mantra. Love your weird. And it's not just a slogan. It's an incredible catalyst for innovation and authenticity in everything that I do. But first, I want us to go back in time for a sec. I want you to think about when you were a kid, five, six years old. All right, that fearless, uninhibited, weird version of yourself. How many of you can remember a time when you were unapologetically weird? Your imagination knew no bound. And you know, thinking about being a kid, remember when we were kids and we thought, I'm never gonna be like those boring adults. You know, the ones that never wanna have fun. And yet here we are trying to figure out our taxes and pretending like we actually know what the heck we're doing. You know, I, I don't know about you, but I really thought quicksand was gonna be a much bigger issue when I grew up. <laughs> the, the truth is we lose that wild imagination as we get older. This Love Your Weird journey started for me about seven years ago. I was going through a divorce and, and, and was hitting an emotional bottom. And it's because I had been living for many, many years in what I call an inauthentic existence. I had forgotten my weird, covered up by uh, pretenses and expectations, people pleasing, hidden in a business suit. I was a lot like you. I, you know, was a five-year-old dreamer, astronaut on his own planet with cowboy boots, uh, a TV preacher with his own show in Frankland. I even turned my parents' basement into a laboratory. So every day I was wearing a lab coat, inventing time machines and jet packs and hoverboards. It was crazy. But you know, after a hundred hours of therapy with my therapist, you know, rediscovering my inner child, I, I had this thought: What if there was more to this? imaginative Frankie from childhood, especially as it related to work. Now this was, uh, this moment of clarity, it was reinforced as I started to watch my kids a, a little different. Their uninhibited personalities, wonder and imagination. It was like I was looking at a mirror of, of what so many times we lose. And it hit me, this raw creativity is the gold that we so often leave behind when we sign up for the grown-up gig. The gold of our inner weirdness. You know, managing teams is a lot like wrangling kids. Some of us in this room have kids. I, I don't know if you know this, but I have six kids. Yeah, you heard that right. So you can just imagine the level of chaos every day trying to manage just a kaleidoscope of personalities uh, trying to keep their imaginative fires going and then somehow miraculously getting them all to move in the same direction. Now, you know, even if you don't have kids, which some of us don't, this probably still sounds familiar. And that's because it's essentially the same as being at the office, just with more coffee and less timeouts. This isn't a story about parenting. It's a powerful lesson in leadership. You see, when I plugged the Love Your Weird framework into my own tech companies, something remarkable happened. We were able to adopt this Love Your Weird framework in a way that everyone felt safe to show up with their own unique brand of weirdness. But something else happened. It drove a level of creativity and innovation that I had never before seen in any of my companies. Embracing this level of innovation and authenticity created 60x growth in our company in three years. It put us on the Inc. 500 list eight times in a row and made us the fastest growing company in Louisiana. It turns out that imagination, innovation is not learned, it's unlearned. Now let's get real. We are going into an era right now where machines and tech are changing everything. 
Disruption is happening at breakneck speeds. Some are saying that AI will replace us at work. And as daunting as this may seem, I now know that there's a way to combat this. Inside of each one of us is a key, a key that can unlock continuous innovation to not just survive these seismic shifts, but to soar them. Loving your weird is the key to out innovating the future. Collaborating and innovating together, harnessing our unique human ingenuity to create a world where no one is left behind. So as we leave here, I want you to remember this. Our weird is our superpower in the machine era. Thank you.